get started you want to put your threads in colour order so I'll split them into two and then on the contrasting colour on each side and you can split your sections into two and then take the centre thread from each side And then to work two separate colours together, you're going to work in one direction for your first knot. And then switch positions and work in the other direction for the second knot. And this just keeps your colours in the same colour order. Then you want to take the next thread from each side. And then working over the same colour, just work towards the centre both times. And do the same thing at the other side. And then once both threads are in the centre, once again you want to knot in one direction. And then switch positions and knot in the other direction. And so just make sure that every time you've got different colours, you keep them in the same colour order. And then taking your next colour in the sequence, do the same thing again. Always knotting towards the centre when you're going over the same colour, and then switching positions for your second knot when you're in the centre. Once you get to your last two unknotted threads, you should be left with two contrasting colours at either side. So you're going to slightly change the pattern here to create your zigzags at the edge. So you want to knot towards the centre both times. And then do the same thing for your next thread. And then over your third thread, you want to knot towards the centre the first time. And then switch positions and knot away from the centre the second time. And then drop your contrasting colour and take the same colour and knot towards the centre. And then you want to do the same thing at the other side. And then once you're back to the centre, you want to do the same thing that you've been doing at the beginning. Not towards the centre, I mean sorry, not in one direction the first time. And then not away the other time, so you keep your threads in the same colour position. So for your second row, you want to take your two same colour threads and not towards the centre.
and then where you meet your contrasting colour. You want to switch the position and not with the contrasting colour over the other colour. Knot it away from the centre. And then take the thread that you've just knotted over and once again knot towards the centre. And do this both times. And then you want to do the same thing at the other side. So for your next row, your contrasting colour should be the second thread in. So you're going to use that one and not away from the centre. We do this both times. And then taking the thread that you've just knotted over, you're going to knot towards the centre each time. And then repeat this at the other side. And once you've completed that row, you'll see you've completed your first zigzag at either side. So now you're going to repeat what you did from your first row and do your second zigzag. You're just going to repeat this pattern all the way down until you've got the bracelet as long as you want it to be.
and you should end up with something that looks like this. So now you just want to tie off your tail ends. So you want to separate them into three sections and then braid them together. When the braids are as long as you need, you can take all your threads and tie a knot in the end to hold everything in place. You want to do this for both ends. Once you've done that, you can trim off any excess. And you should end up with something that looks like this. Now you can try on your bracelet. And that is your completed zigzag and stripe bracelet.